Hi, I've recently seen a few posts on uh, forums that uh, people were asking, how do you fit objects to a path? And some people have even responded that there's no feature that does that. Well, there actually is in Corel Draw, and it's known as the Object Sprayer. So let's see how that works. I'll start with a couple of basic objects like this. Um, just a triangle that I modified a little bit and a square. And we're going to make a little arrow. Uh, let's learn a tool while we're working on this, uh, the Align tool. Uh, the shortcut for this is click on the thing that you want to align with the other thing, and the C key will align them uh, horizontally, centered like that. Uh, where I got that was Arrange, Align and Distribute. And you can see the shortcuts here, left, right, top, bottom. I just did the C, Align Centers Vertically. So that's a tool you're going to use every day. Now when you use the Align tool, the object you click on first is going to be the one that moves. The other one's going to stay where it is. So I click on this object, and hold down Shift, select both of them, click my C key. You can see my square moved over to my triangle, and I could have done it the other way. Triangle first, square second, and there we go. All right. Uh, so now i got a little arrow, so I'm going to marquee select these, go to my weld tool, weld these together, and now it's one single object. I'm going to rotate it uh, 270 degrees, which puts it there. I'll make it a little smaller, and I'll, let's see how the object sprayer works. I'll draw a path with um, my Bezier tool, three or however I want. And I'll take my shape tool and select all the nodes. So this is a straight line because I drew it as straight lines. I'm going to change it to curved lines, all of them at once. Then I'll make it smooth curves, which will give me the path I was looking for. Um, I'll change this path just a little bit to get it a little smoother and now uh, let's see if I can fit these objects to a path I'll start by selecting my object then I'm going to go up here to effect artistic media that's going to open up this menu here now these are brush strokes and sprayer objects uh, we won't worry about brushes right now. I'll get rid of this shaping thing. Um, what we're going to do is, is make this a sprayer object. Um, we're going to look down here at our menu, and at the bottom we have um, a couple of different controls right here, the save. If I click save, it's going to ask me, do I want to make a brush or a sprayer? I'm going to make a sprayer. And there we go. We'll save it as something in this temporary default it just wants a name so I'll make it uh, arrow and then it should appear on my list here and there it is it's a sprayer see a little spray can and um, now I'll select my path and select my spray get down here select my spray shape and if I hit apply, then you'll see that it applies these arrows to the path. Now, that's not what we had in mind, because we want these to follow the path. Excuse me, if my voice sounds a little weird, I'm still getting over a cold. But uh, let's get this one out of the way. Now, we selected these objects, and it selects all of them at once because they're on a path. And uh, we're going to go up here to this one now uh, let's see where is it rotation no here rotation and you can see where it's uh, page based so if we switch this to path based hit enter now you can see it's doing a little bit more of what we had in mind 
they're following the path. But I'd like more arrows than this. So I'm going to go up to this um, control here. These are a little confusing. They both have the same name. I'm looking at the bottom one here, spacing of objects to be sprayed. And I'm going to reduce that. It's one inch now. We're just going to incrementally reduce it. And you'll see it adds a new one because they all have to be equi e equally distant. So every time you get too far down the path, it'll add another. So you get it to look kind of the way you want. Now, if I think these arrows are a little too big, I can go up here to my size. It, it's at 100. Oh, sorry, it's this one. At 100, and I'll go down a little bit. And you can see that reduces the size of my arrows until they look about the way I want. Then I'll go back here to my uh, spacing and keep going down. You can also set these manually, but I like to kind of work with it this way to get the arrows to look the way I want. Now, this would be cool if you were like making a map of or something, how to walk around downtown. And when you get it the way you want, remember there's still a path in here. So if you don't like the route that it's taking, you can always change your path and it'll it'll go with the line. You know, it's just like any other vector path. And so then when you get it to way the look when you get it the way you want it to look, what we're gonna do is gonna arrange um, excuse me. What we'll do is go to What we'll do is go to Arrange, uh, Break Artistic Media Group Apart. And now we can see our path again, so we'll get rid of that. Hopefully we're done with it. And then these are going to be a group of objects. So we can ungroup these with our shortcut, Control u or the menu. And now each one is a separate object so you can do whatever you like anyway that's that and then uh, you can make some pretty cool effects with this let's see here make a little square I'll use my shape tool to round the corners off if you didn't know already your uh, when it's still a square or a rectangle you haven't converted it to curves yet you can round one or more of the corners off Then I'll give this outline a thickness. I'm going to use my shortcut to open up my outline pen. On my computer, it's F12. And we'll make this a seven-point outline. See how that looks. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then I can use my uh, straight line tool. I'm going to try and do this quickly. Um, I'm just going to hold down Control, make it straight here. And I'll make that one seven points as well and I'll give it end caps here of round all right then I'm going to use my E key which remember the align the C aligns it horizontally the E will align it vertically so I'll click that and that E and once again that's up here under arrange align and distribute okay so then I'll move this out here till about like that. And these are still outlines. So I'll convert those. Arrange, uh, convert outline to object. Then I'll draw myself a square. Try and do this quickly. Like that. Make it a little smaller. I'm just eyeballing this. I'll use my E key to align these. Remember, E was aligned uh, vertically or horizontally. And then I'll give it a color so I can see where it is. Get rid of the outline. I'll go back here to my shaping, trim, and I'll trim that thing there like that. And now, I'm going to go back to weld, and I'll weld one to the other. 
So now it's a single object. It looks kind of like a chain link. And I'll give it a more realistic chain color. And now I will create a spray object out of this by hitting uh, Save, Object Sprayer, OK, Chain. And now I can go back to my path. Let's get rid of that. I can go back to my, let's get rid of him too. Go back to my path. And now my chain should be down here. And there it is. So I'll apply it. And once again, we need to go to our rotation. Make it path-based, like this. And we're getting somewhere. Uh, now I can uh, decrease the distance. I'm also going to make these a little smaller. You can see I can make them as big or as small as I want. And we'll keep decreasing the distance until this looks like a chain. A little bit more, a little bit more. Good enough, good enough. Now once again, there's a path under here. If I can find it. And that path can be manipulated as you please to make your chain go where you want it to. And that's a reasonably realistic uh, looking chain. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to work harder on it. If this is for an internet ad or something that people aren't going to look at that much, um, this might be good enough. Or you might want to work on some of these. When it goes around sharp curve, you can see it looks a little bit unrealistic to people that might care. Break this apart like we did before, once you have it correct, and get rid of your path. And now you can go in here and move this stuff as you please. Uh, let's say I don't really like this one. I could zoom in and this is still grouped. I'll hit control ungroup. Now I can select one of my links here and maybe move it a little bit. I don't know. I wouldn't work too hard on this. And once you move it, I'm just doing this with the nodes here. Once you move it, you're going to have to fix this part. So you can either do that with your As you can see, uh, you can probably work too hard on this and maybe start driving yourself nuts, but and that's probably what I would do. <laughs> but if it's not that important, I wouldn't go to all that extra trouble. And this looks fake. It needs some work. But basically, that's not a bad looking chain. And this shows you different ways you can use the object sprayer to fit objects to a path. Sorry for the long video. But practice this. You'll find hundreds of ways you can use it. And I hope your next project goes well.